you guys welcome back oh my god i have to be honest with you i think you might have been able to pick it up from the last video but i have been struggling with anxiety and like the way it manifests itself in my life i've told you before it's through heart palpitations and imagine your heart beating really really fast for absolutely no reason because like right now i'm calm i'm in my house everything's chill nothing's happening my dogs are fine i'm fine everybody's fine and my heart it's literally currently beating out of my chest i don't know if you could tell but i feel like i've been posting content that's a little bit more like relaxing a little bit more calm a little bit more good for the soul if you will and that's in an attempt to number one like create a safer space for myself where like everything is just more calm and everything is more chill um but also for you guys so that you also have a place to come to and feel like relaxed and you can wind down and we can just like hang out and relax together that's not to say there's not going to be like exciting vlogs in the future it's just in this phase of my life i just need a little bit more like peace i just want peace i want calm i want serenity in my life i just want peace because it's self-care sunday um today we're going to be doing a couple of things the first of being we're gonna put my nails done look remember last vlog i was missing an L. i'm missing an L again now i do have to say the lady did warn me last time when i got a fill she was like your nails already need to be switched out like you've had these nails on for too long which she's right because i've had these since late april i've just been getting fills on them she's like if i were you would just do a soak off and then like you'll be brand new back then i didn't really want to do it because i wasn't like mentally prepared to sit there for longer than an hour but today i'm going in the mindset that we're gonna go sit there for an hour for more than an hour we're gonna soak off my nails and we're gonna do a brand new set these nails were a total hit everybody loved them i love them myself but if you can't really tell let me show you what's a good one i don't know if you could see because it's like really really close but my natural nails like lifting from the acrylic nail and obviously that's not good because that's the reason why this one ended up falling off so we're gonna get a brand new set at a nail shop which is something i haven't done in a really 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 long time we're gonna see how it goes first of all i'm doing a soak off i don't care if they tell me that they want to rip my nails off i'm not allowing it if you know my nail history you know that there was a point where literally one of my nail beds was completely off because i kept getting nails ripped off and then installed again we're learning from past mistakes we're not doing that no sir now before we continue i want to show you this like tennis dress it's a dress that has shorts at the bottom and it's white it's really cute i talked about it on my instagram i feel like it looks a little bit like a nightgown because it's white but i'm wearing it with tennis shoes and once i have my purse i feel like you're not gonna be able to tell like it just looks sporty cute right which is like what i love to wear um like she's chic she's cute I mean, it doesn't help that I'm not wearing makeup because then it looks like I just woke up and like I roll out of bed in my pajamas. Let me know what you think. Do you think it looks like a nightgown or do you feel like it looks like a tennis dress? I could go both ways. Like literally, it looks like a tennis dress but kind of looks like a nightgown. I'm not sure. I can't decide. Let me know. Okay, I think I was able to like make it a little less nightgown-y. I ended up putting my hat on. I did my makeup so it doesn't look like I just got out of bed. And then I put on this sweater what do you think still a nightgown or no i like it a lot better so anyway let's go get our nails done now let's go get some coffee some cafecito um these are the nails before a ver como salimos y a ver cuánto nos tardamos ojalá que no nos tardemos mucho but vámonos just finished look at this 
we did end up doing a soak off she did try to like go in with like the fake nail to like pop them off and i was like can you soak them off please and she was like yeah of course like no problem so she did soak them off uh she took off the old set and she actually had nails like this i don't know if you guys can see them in the clip where she was doing my nails but i was like oh my god i love your nails and she's like do you want them like this and i was like yes uh she actually had like oval shape but last time when i did this shape we all loved it so much so i decided to do colored nude acrylic and just do like a clear gloss over it i like to do the color nude acrylic because to me like you could just always do like french tip in the future and stuff or you can do like regular polish but they just look really clean really natural really short let me know what you think about them i will tell you for a soak off and for a brand new set, it was $60. I ended up tipping her $10. So overall, I ended up paying $70. It's fine. I don't mind it. I think it's a good price for what I'm getting done. But I will tell you, every time I've gone back to this nail shop, the prices keep going up on me. And I don't really question it. I'm just like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. Like, yeah, it's fine. But I do get different things every time. So we'll see how much I get charged next time I go. I love them. I feel really good. They're just like nude, basic, like to the point, very clean, very sleek. And that's what I want it. I didn't want anything over the top. Next up in our self-care Sunday, there's going to be a special guest. So be prepared because we're bringing over our special guest who is, drum roll please. Hola. ¿En dónde andamos? Estamos solicitando unos sushis. Estamos viendo a ver de cuáles quieren. Guys, we just got to a sushi spot. Traía un chingo de tiempo queriendo comer sushi, but Danny doesn't like it, so I was like, oh my god, who am I gonna go eat sushi with? So I was like, Dad, do you want to eat sushi? And he's like, yes. Papi, how was your sushi experience? Oh, well, it was, it was very good. <laughs> ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que comiste sushi? Uh, to be honest with you. Yes, we are. Oh, well, uh, I think about two months ago, but. What? But it, but it was, yeah, but it wasn't, it wasn't like this. It was like. Bro, two months ago, you did not have sushi. Estamos en agosto. Before I got to Alabama. Before you got to Alabama? Uh huh. Well, three months ago. No, ya, a ver, espérate. Marzo, abril, mayo, junio, julio, agosto. Ya cinco meses, hace cinco meses que estuviste en, en the hospital. Oh. So before that. Fue en marzo. Oh my God. Abril, mayo, junio, julio y agosto va el quinto mes. Time flies. You go to the, to the store. Uh -huh. To the... Uh, like Walmart? Like Walmart, but it was in a Walmart. It was something like that. Oh, like a sushi que hacen ahí. Uh -huh. They mm. make some sushi. Mm. Y ahí compré uno. Oh, yummy. But it was a little one, you know. Mm. ¿Te gustó? Uh, yeah, it was good, but this one sounded a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh -huh. oh, over here we got tuna sushi. We had salmon. Salmon. And we had, uh, what else we had? We had the rainbow one that has, like, all the different colors. Um, y luego, estuvo bien rico. Uh -huh. Pero ahora vamos a la casa, ¿qué? We need to take a nap. We need to take a nap. Because <laughs> it's self-care Sunday, so vámonos. Uh, we just got home, you guys. And my dad's gonna go smoke a cigarette. But every time after I eat, siempre se me antoja something sweet. So I wanted to tell you. So yesterday we, Rosa, Jen, and I, yesterday in the morning we ended up going to have brunch. And we went to this place called Bakers and Baristas. And basically, they have macaroons. No me acuerdo que sabor es que. I think this one is cookies and cream or like Oreo. I ended up getting like 12 of them for like $30. So I gave some to my mom. I gave some to... That's it. <laughs> so we're going to try the Oreo one. If you know anything about me, you have to know that I absolutely love macaroons. So let's try it. No, no he probado este. Mmm. Good. You know when you eat something sweet y siempre se te antoja algo. I mean, when you eat like a big meal y se te antoja algo sweet, that's me as hell. Like every time I eat, I'm like, como que se me antoja algo dulce. Let me know if that's you too, because I feel like it's like a Mexican thing. Like comes algo y se te antoja algo dulce. You know? Mmm.
currently about to be 7 p.m. Denny just got off of work a little bit ago and we're actually gonna go have some taquitos. Hace ratito estaba caminando los perros. I went to go walk the dogs and it smells like tacos outside. I don't know if somebody's having a party or what's going on, pero se me antojaron. So I told Denny, I was like, oh, can we go get some tacos? And he's like, yeah, that's fine. So we're gonna go get some tacos, which makes me really, really, really excited. Honestly, you guys, lately I've been, don't get me wrong, I love wearing makeup. I'm never gonna stop wearing makeup. Makeup is like amazing to me, but I really like the way that my skin looks without it. Like I have gotten to a point where like, I love being makeup free now. I'm gonna wash my makeup off. That way I don't have to wash my face by the time we come back. Like that way if it's a little later, I don't have to like wash my face all over again. I would have done a face mask if we were gonna go anywhere, but because we're gonna go get tacos, I can go with my face like with the face mask on. After going to get tacos, I think we're gonna go to my cuñada's house. One of Denny's sisters lives pretty close to us and she's actually pregnant right now. So, oh, you guys remember? If you guys watched Deanna's vlog, we actually went to her gender reveal a couple months ago. And anyway, we're gonna go to her house because we spend a lot of time with her actually like we'll take her food Yesterday we took her donuts and stuff. So we're gonna go eat with her She has a little taller and she's currently pregnant. I feel so good to have a fresh face So the first thing I'm gonna go in with is the CeraVe Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Serum I was using the ordinary one and then my esthetician messaged me and she was like Stacy stop using it and I was like so Hilda if you're watching this I'm using the CeraVe one hopefully you don't think this one it's not bad for my skin but honestly guys whatever Hilda my facialist says I'll do because look at my skin look if you have been here for a long time you know damn well the struggles I've had with my skin you guys like I've suffered from cystic acne all right here um, like it was just crazy like I always would have like a live acne on and I finally got into a point where my skin complexion looks pretty even knock on wood porque cada vez que digo algo de que oh my skin's looking good all of a sudden like I'll get pimples cancelado the next thing I'm going in with is my Kiehl's creamy eye avocado mask Kiehl's does tend to be a little bit more pricey but it works really well. I normally also use their moisturizer, but I ran out and I didn't go to an Ulta that had it. So I had to get another moisturizer and it's the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This one's actually for your body and for your face. And this whole thing, it's 12 ounces. So it's a, a big boy and it's literally like 14 bucks. So it's super inexpensive and it moisturizes my skin really well. So honestly with skincare, let me know what you think like you feel like you have to go expensive for it to work because i'm still figuring it out like what works for me what works for me what doesn't so sometimes i'll spend the extra money for good stuff like the kiehl's moisturizing lotion for the face i love it i love the way it works it is more expensive this CeraVe one it's also a little bit i mean it's a lot more affordable but it does leave my skin feeling like you could just feel like a thicker substance on your face like as opposed to like with the kiehl's one with the kiehl's one like it feels so lightweight for the price difference like if you're in a budget girl the CeraVe one has worked wonderful for me and then last but not least i do you guys remember how i've been using the lash enhancing serum i used to use the one from mexico que se llama Dava Lash, pero porque obviamente no he ido a México. I saw this one at Costco, se llama New Lash, and it was two of them for like 40 bucks. So it's really inexpensive, and it's also been working really well for me. Um, I feel like maybe my lashes got used to the Dava Lash one and they stopped growing, like they got stuck. And ever since I started using this one, my lashes are just like blooming again, which I love. Like. I'm so into the Just Mascara look. Like, no lash extensions, no falsies. Like, of course, if I'm gonna go out, I'll use falsies. But I love, 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 love the look of like, my natural lashes. Like, look at that, who is she? This was not me, you guys. Like, my natural lashes are so short. So, I got that one at Costco. If you wanna check if your local Costco has it. That's basically it for my no makeup look, going, going to get tacos. Last thing I do is I grab a little bit of Vaseline and then I just put it on my lips and then that's it. 
I feel so fresh, I feel so good, and like, <sighs> I love it. I have to tell you, by the way, I've had these nails on for a couple of hours now, I'm like obsessed. Like, I feel so good about these, short, chic, to the point, natural, like, are these her real nails or not, we will never know. I love 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 like love this look let me know what you think good morning you guys welcome back to the next day of this vlog we're actually gonna be we're not gonna be hanging out because um i really want to get this vlog up today <laughs> but i did want to finish and close off the vlog i know i started this vlog talking about how i've been dealing like with anxiety and stuff and that's just kind of become part of like my everyday life like i something i'm trying to get used to and like leaning more into the feeling rather than like trying to push it away you know but i just wanted to let you know that hanging out with you yesterday and doing what we did hanging out with my dad hanging out with denny like it really made it for a successful day of living another happy day <laughs> you know sometimes i do let my anxiety get the best of me and like there's times where like i'm i don't want to get out of bed because i'm like crippled by it but there's also times where we push through and we make things happen and things are beautiful and the thing with mental health is that we just have to take it one day at a time right so today's a much better day it feels like a much better day um so yeah whenever it is that you're watching this i hope that my videos can take you to a place of peace and that can they can take you to a place of calmness and if whatever it is that you're going through in your life whether you have anxiety or you have other issues or you're just at home bored or you just take time out of your day to watch my videos i really do appreciate you and i want you to know that it makes a difference and every single one of you being here um makes my life a little better so thank you so 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 very much for watching my video Thank you so much for watching my videos and for all the love that you showed me. Please make sure to subscribe, to like, and to leave a comment down below. And that's going to be it for me. Que Dios me las bendiga mucho, mucho, mucho. Quierete mucho, respetate más. And I'll see you guys at the next video. Bye.